as it was the return of the bachelorette becca has a chance to find love do you, uh, as a woman, feel redemption, like that she got Ari out of her hair and now she has another chance? I really do. Well, the uh, last season of The Bachelor was my first ever season Ooh. introduced to the series. And I got to say, it was a very interesting one to get into. But Becca was one of my favorites, and I am so excited. She's moving on with Ari, and she's got all these men to move along with. That's right. So she's the bachelorette. She has a little help with her friends to kick <laughs> things off. Rachel stops by, JoJo and Caitlin. Yeah. They want to come by the mansion to give her some advice, some tidbits. They've all been there. And they actually, they do a smudging. Do you think it's just for appearances, or do you think they were serious about this smudging? You know what? These women have the experience in it. They wanted to clear all that negative energy, and I think uh, Becca definitely came with a lot of that with Ari, right? Yeah. So I think this was a great way to do it. I loved Caitlin's reaction yeah. to this, though. What are, are we on drugs here? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, she's in reference <laughs> drugs within that segment for sure. Uh, good natured and a great start, I think. Now, of course, you have to meet the guys. 28 guys rolling in, and you always have to make an appearance. Was this too much in a chicken suit, Michelle? This is David. What do you think? I'm not going to lie. I don't eat chicken. I'm actually <laughs> terrified of chickens, so I'm pretty sure he would have been cut right away. But you're right. you got to make that distinctive impression. And who's going to forget the chicken guy? No, nobody does. And actually, I'm going to jump ahead. He does get a rose. Yeah. Rose. So it did work for him. The guys gave him a huge, a huge razzing for it. Uh, by the way, well, with all the guys that moved on through, a guy named Connor took her away first and whisked her away. So I think that there's gameplay, and it started early on this one, including, you know, Chase. They wonder if he was in it for the wrong reasons. We'll get to that in a second. I want to mention that Jake was another guy from uh, her hometown that she's met several times. Yeah. They've hung out before parties and weddings and stuff. He was there. She's like, Ooh, I'm shocked to see you. She didn't feel it because if you've met her before, yes. why didn't why didn't you ask her out? Exactly. I mean, is this a new thing though? Has other contestants ever come on that have there have been? Okay. I, I think Becca, you know, she can do yeah. so much better. And it, she really I mean, well, if yeah. things don't work out, at least she knows she's got somebody at home. It was kind of creepy because in Rachel's season, there was a dude that she used to babysit. Granted, he was like four years younger or something like that. She's like, ooh, I can't get past you, that. You can't do that, no. Can't get past it. <laughs> Worth noting, and again, we'll get, get to this in a second again, Garrett was the one who got the first impression rose because, uh, you know, she really had a connection with him. But among, before the big rose ceremony, there was this whole drama because Chris R. said, Chase, I know who you are, Chase, and I know your ex-girlfriend, and she sent me some texts about you. I don't think you're in it for the right, right. reason. Uh, so these two, Chris R. and Chase, they go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. One of your exes, Danielle, she went off saying, like, Chase is not there for the right reasons. And I was like, hey, hey, man, that's, and, and I was that's, like, that's, that's definitely weird. Um, I think Danielle's a great girl, but that was a long, long time ago. She was someone who I only hung out with for, like, a month. So you guys just dated on, on Yeah, we just dated okay. for okay. maybe two weeks, man. That's what I mean. Really? That's what happens, man. So, that's going to be what happens. That's women. That's, and... I mean, by no means am I here for the wrong reasons. Right. I'm here for Becca, and that's all I have to say, man. I love that this is their version of drama. That's their version of drama. And men typically don't do this, right, no. until you put them on The Bachelorette. <laughs> I'm good for him for calling him out, though. Well, you can't have that kind of uncertainty out no. the gate, right? The, uh, speculation was he has a marketing company. He just wants to get a leg up and get his name out there. So in the end, uh, unfortunately, you know, Chase does get the 86. He doesn't hang out. Uh, chicken guy hangs on. And it's interesting because, of course, she got rid of Jake. So they came in with 28 men. Jake leaves early. That's 27. Six go home. We've got my math is pretty good from my math teacher, uh, Mr. Jake's in grade six. 21 guys. You see the rose ceremony here. Now, you have to find out, again, no real controversy at the ceremony. You have to. I got my picks here, Michelle, and I want to know what you think of them because I think we line up a bit. I'll explain mine briefly here. Colton, he has a charity. He's a good, kind heart. Alex looks like Ari, so I always find the guy that looks like her ex. Garrett, you always have to put the first impression rose guy in. So Garrett gets a buy, and Blake is another small-town guy, so he might be relating to her. Well, you're right with Garrett, because what whoever gets the first impression it seems like Rose and right. Hopefully we haven't spoiled it bit yet, but I agree with you on Colton and Blake. But I'm gonna I'm rooting for Clay H and Connor as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Connor. Well Connor. Yeah, the Connor I think that Nick S looks like Ari a lot more. I so. Yeah, yeah I do. Alex. Connor did take her away first, so he's pretty aggressive, so there you go. And there you have it. You can watch along on Mondays at nine right here on City, another review one week. And uh, eight minutes earlier than right now, we'll have another review. <laughs> yeah.